Greetings, greetings to you from me, Father Leonard, here in Birmingham. Peace of the Lord be with you. Today I would like us to imagine a world in which every person was exactly the kind of person that God wants us to be. But well, that would be God's kingdom on earth, wouldn't it? The realisation of Jesus' prayer, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And so the big question, the big question for us, is how do we help God's kingdom be the reality on earth? Well, we can find clues every time we go to Lourdes, every time we go on pilgrimage with HCPT. That's where we see God's kingdom. That's where we see what God's kingdom on earth could be all the time. It's an unforgettable insight into what happens when every person pulls their special gifts so that everyone receives that constant flow of pure love, joy, peace and compassion that comes from Jesus. And we receive that and much more under the protective care of Our Lady. Teamwork is a key ingredient in the HCPT mix for creating the community spirit we so much enjoy whenever we gather together. And John Henry Newman, he famously imparted this thought-provoking insight. God has created me to do some definite work. He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. I'm a link in a chain, a bond between persons. It's a wonderful thought, isn't it? To be a bond between persons. To be in God's team. His team that constructs the kingdom on earth. What's more, he gives us everything we need to do the job he has prepared, especially for us. Though we might not yet fully realise quite how we use the gifts that he gives us. Perhaps sometimes we think to be a value of God, we have to be running big projects or writing never-ending lists of bright ideas. Perhaps sometimes we forget the big differences we make are more commonly by the seemingly small things that we do. You see, every architect needs someone to mix cement so that the architect's grand design can become the grand building it's planned to be. Well, recently I met a lovely chap. He's coming with us to Lourdes next year. And as soon as he walked into the room, the room became a brighter and cozier place. He lit up the room with his great big smile, a beautiful smile, so welcoming, so friendly, so full of joy. You see, God has blessed him with a kind and loving heart. And he generously shares his love and joy with everyone he meets. I'm sure you can think of ways in which you can radiate the comforting love of God by others, to others rather, by a simple warm-hearted gesture or a friendly word or two. That's our workout for today, to think about how we could make someone or a group of someone's Feel the world is a better place. But when we do that, we walk a few more steps in the company of Jesus. Today is the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Fatima's in Portugal. It's another well known, world renowned, should I say, shrine to Our Lady. And so today we pray. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Saint John Henry Newman, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I hope you have a blessed, safe and fruitful day. The Lord be with you. Bye now. See you tomorrow.